Well, in, in the big darts ain't that difficult. If you hit five trebles in four turns, and you stay where you need to stay, and you don't deviate to the left and right, you're very hard to beat. Yeah. And Rysajski, to his credit as well, is doing precisely that at the right time to keep gilding oh, just behind him yeah. in the rear view mirror. But it's a thin line because you can't get broken when your name is Ratajski at the moment. This is good dart, though. This is right oh, dart. Sensible yeah. third dart, miles away from that treble 20 there. Almost straight into the top zone as well. But Gilding looking at the 170. Loads of room for another one of those. Oh, he's put it right in the corner. Bullseye for the big fish. Yeah. Oh, Andrew Gilding. Andrew Gilding. Uh, so he comes into this one uh, a little bit fresh. 264 plays 167. Gilding closing in. Ritaiski needs a response. He won't get to a finish. It's bad mass from Ritaiski. Six darts for Gilding. So he only wants to set this up. Yeah, no need to be aggressive or overly aggressive. Well, that's okay. In position. And potentially two darts away. It's all about whether Ritaiski can apply any pressure here. And so far, no trouble. Just the one there, though, to round things off. But Gilding with a gilt-edged opportunity now to secure his place in the last 16 here in Zvola. 70 is the target, 20 in tops for the match. That's the easy part. Tops he wants. 30. And tops he cannot find. He needs a bit more than one dart. As we said. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Treble 17 to leave tops. Gets it. Tops for Otaiski. Again, one dart in hand. Just underneath the wire. And this start at double 20 to force a decider. And Gilding returns. And this time he's got three clear darts at tops. The first one is a bit loose and a bit high. The second one's just a bit low. Double 10. And Gilding with his final dart in hand. Poppy last dart again from Searle. Leaves him no finish. So six darts for Ross Smith. Treble 15. Find that one. Single 14 will leave him double 16. He normally likes the double 16s. 89. Such a lovely single that. You don't want to go anywhere near that treble just in case you jag it and you think, oh, I don't want to be stuck on double two. 85. He's going to be left on double 16, which is exactly what he's got for doubling his lead. That's how he missed it in the previous leg, but this time he goes inside. 16. And a chance for Searle right, on one, another 120. It's a difficult first one. Has to go around it. Does so very well. Top yeah. oh. yeah. That is a very, very nice yeah. Shanghai. He mentioned that Dutch people call it the hat stand. Yeah. It's almost the most inadvertent 170 ever. <laughs> That dart had been touching the bullseye. That was a very lucky 50 points. I don't think it can hit. I don't, I don't think it can touch the size or if you want it to in that situation because it's too much length between the flight and the point to be able to get through the metal. It almost needs to dangle from the top of the stem and then the point needs to kick back towards the board and touch the ball that way. Now, if that ever happens, I know for a fact that that will go viral on social media. Yeah, yeah. There must be a magnet behind that board then. Indeed. Now, treble 20 is found for double 19. Yes. All of a sudden, he's hitting doubles. Smith has had 17 and Ryan's had 18. So that tells you a story as to where they think they should be and where they are. It's going to be 126 for Searle to win the match. Smith has got to be good from here. Maybe he should have taken the ball off somewhere. I'm always a fan of the second dart going for the ball, but this is Ryan Searle for the match. Needs another 19, double six. He's going to be back at double three if Ross misses the 81. 
The last time he was on 81, he took a bit of time to figure out which section he wants to go for. It's the treble 15 this time. That double 18 has not been kind. But the one Six, double on the board three. that has cost him more than anything Andre else in this match Six. is double nine. Get double three and is hit for the 6-3 so, win. Trying to book the trend. <laughs> so, if you're coming to a European tour event soon, just hang up your favourite number. <laughs> 134. But don't make it 163. Scott, you require yeah. 140. <laughs> or 159. 149 for Waits. 129 for Hetter. Three apiece. And we're thinking that the way Damon's played in this match, that this is not going to go. But it might if he hits two double 18s. Oh, <laughs> this would be so ironic. Oh, what? Where did that come from? The clear blue sky is empty outside. It was one of the most brilliant games that nobody talks about. <laughs> But then again, at that championship that was won by Gerwin Price, I believe there were 16 matches in that championship where it went to the last leg decider. Yeah. That will never happen again. 140. Scott, you require 121. Well, I suspect this has to go. Certainly in six. 57. Damon, you require 160. Outside chance for Hetta to steal it in style. Part one of the equation is satisfied. Part two is not, however. Drop darts on the floor. And a chance just to regroup. 84, yeah, leaves double 12 again. So Scott, you require 64. That's the route to glory. But Waits might just prolong the agony here. 16 for tops. 24. And it should be game over Damon, you with the number 24. 8 seed on the cusp of this match. No messing around. This time he's got a guide for double 12. And Get finds it. Fights his Get way across the line. Not a classic performance by any means. And he's going to have to obviously find a, a career life balance of some sort moving forward. Yeah, he's also travelling a bit back and forth between England and Belgium. I think he's, he's staying in Belgium at the moment again. But he's, he has to relocate, 100. I think, or will relocate back to England uh, somewhere. And, of course, you don't want to think about it, but it will be on his mind. In July, he'll be defending a lot of points, a lot of points on the World Match Play. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the downside of success. It, it quickly comes around where you do ha start having to protect the the points, the, the money that you've racked up. One hundred and thirty-six. Dimitri, you require millimeters away from a one-six-one. Boris Kritschmar. Ninety-one for Van den Berg. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. That's a really good one. He needed that one. Uh, and a decent bloke. 1 3 2 for Vandenberg. Will return anyway. Yeah, that's why he went 20s, obviously. 58. A ton would have left him double 16. He's not making it easy on himself. If Boris can get a few trebles here. 16. Nah. That's not enough. Dimitri requires 74. Thought he might have looked at the 19th there, but anyway, um, Vandenberg is on 74, and he's now looking at 20 and tops for a passage into the last 16. Dimitri Vandenberg 34. not there yet. Boris will require 137. Well, I think this this visit for Boris could have been a lot easier and a lot more manageable, and it's not going to happen for him this time around. I think the last start in the last visit 97 was maybe the wrong way to go. Dimitri require 40. Thank you. Okay. The treble 20 might have left him night well, would have left him 97, but it was a bit congested up there. Anyway, tops here for Vandenberg. Oh. That last one went Boris really weird. And now he is in trouble. Well, Kirchmar's decision making might not really matter now because he's found a break. 
Kirchmar on throw as well. Can just press on the accelerator here with a ton 80. And big bad Boris means business once again. but maybe too late well the Red Devils have found their voice once again Boris Kurtzbar on his first ever European Tour event in the Netherlands closing in 68 points away from a passage into the last 16 it would be one heck of achievement for Boris Kurtzbar 68 points is the target double four is the target Boris Kurtzmar from Zagreb to Zvola. Boris Kurtzmar produces another moment of magic on the European Tour stage. I saw a Martin Schindler sign there. He's coming in a couple of games' time against Danny Noppet. Could well be the game of the afternoon, but it'll have to go something to beat Kurtzmar against Dimitri Vandenberg. That was dramatic to say the least. Larson's got the initiative in Aspinall's leg here. Nathan is in trouble if he doesn't hit a big score here. He's going to have to use the 19s. He's going to go back to the 20s. Oh, oh that is a nice trouble, that last one. Oh, it really was. That was a very difficult shot with maybe half the bed to aim at. And it could well be the difference in this leg. Oh, Him hitting that I shot to lead this 160. Six. Again, has to do the same. Go around that first one. He's hit more trouble from that side than from his regular stands. Yeah, he's going to be going into Stephen Bunting country pretty soon. If he keeps hitting it. What a big exchange this about to be. Okay, from the left-hand side now, it's tops. Not moving back. Oh, maybe he should have. And the second 56. time he's missed it by a good centimetre and a half inside. And yeah, again, two nine misses nine that's gone, that cost him. The averages are so similar. Maybe half a point between them. Uh, again, a slip with the last dart. He might have to go ball Aspinall to get us to an 11th and final leg. That last start from Larson looked a bit edgy. Lots of shoulder in it as well. Is he going to get a look at the 95? Yes, and it will be to win. 50. And like Jacques and said, 95. to win two games in succession in the same tournament. In Euro Tours for the very first time. He's going to double 19s. He's mm, no, he's looking up. He was thinking about it for a second. He's got one at double eight. Hey, Match don't missed. Nathan, you require Aspinall 36. in for the level game. Not only to take this leg, but to throw first in the next one. Double nine. Cost Ross Smith earlier and has cost Easy. Aspinall here. That Daniel could well be it. Eight. And like 1992 in the European Football Championship, it looks like Sweden are going to beat England. Double two. And he finds the target. A bit like Thomas Brolin did back in 1992, 30 years ago. Jacques Nulat will be uh, emceeing once again, and no doubt he'll have to uh, raise the voice level, maybe. A notch or two. Just another point about... Well, I'll make it in a moment, actually, just see if Dolan can threaten this one to seven, which he can't. Uh, Rich is looking at 74, by the way, for... Well, he's had 114 darts already, maybe on course for another hit. 
He'll look at the 14s first of all, I suspect, and he finds treble 14 for double 16, inside for double 8. 66. Brendan looks a bit puzzled as to why this is not going to plan. Still possible. Bullseye. 82. Well, again, he's had a shot at the leg, hasn't he, in that one once again. Missed the double 20 in the opener. Missed the double 16 in the second. Ridd steps in once again. It's a, a 17 data. It's pretty close to home and the field is going to be strong so they want to stay sharp going into future challenges which I think is the right thing to do. I also heard of the players just earwigging around them saying oh what's this tournament? <laughs> is it is it open for other entries? Yeah people trying to earwig their way through to some independent stuff. Well Rids is not far from the last 16 of this one. And he is on course, by the way, to have six different finishes in terms of the final double. Because he had that double ten in the fifth, or to win the uh, fifth leg on the scoreboard. So maybe a little quirk for the statisticians out there as well. But yeah, Ritz looking to round things off with double eight, which would be another one as well for good measure. And he completes the set. Well, I'm going to interrupt the shouting there because <laughs> Danny Noppet's on 170. Jack, and you know what that means. Oh. There's nobody better in the business at the 170 than Danny Noppet. Not on this occasion. Especially with Schindler on 136. Well, there is someone today better at it because we've seen the big fish from Goldfinger, haven't we? 136 for Schindler. Who, by the way, had a 12 data after starting with a 21 against Luke Humphreys last time out as well so he's got previous uh, for that 96. this is really 74. really under pressure this one this 74 this could be the moment single 14 20 for tops here for Danny tops he wants with Schindler lurking on tops himself <laughs> what a pressure point that was this has been absolutely brilliant and the crowd have played a wonderful part in it as well Turn 40 for Noppert, halves his score. Schindler on 260, on throw. Oh, big score flying in. Oh, oh Martin Schindler. Proving he too has the cojones as well. But Danny Noppert, treble 20, and another one. Double 10 for the match. Danny Noppert. Why is it? And that means Martin Schindler will get one shot to bring us to an 11th and final leg. Two single 20s will leave tops. He gets one dart. He's having to move ever so slightly and he's got to get it up and over. And I did think that second dart might just have made things a little bit difficult for him there. But Noppert returns looking at double five. And he can't find a way through. And Schindler is handed a get out of jail free card. So sure footed in the previous leg. Noppert can't find double five. Can Schindler find double 20? Yes, he can. And we are going all the way. He's missed three match starts in the last leg and then to produce a leg like this after that. That's where he's fine that a top player is Danny a top player. 161. Well, six starts from here for Danny Noppert. And he may well have the breathing space for a few more mismatched darts. He won't want to go through the agony of any more mismatched darts. 97. Maybe he should have gone single ball with the last dart to leave himself on 59 rather than 64. 64, yeah. Um, fine margin I mean it could come into play I mean okay he might get away with it because Schindler's only down at 198 anyway but here we go not it well that leaves tops and this time he's got two clear darts at it that's four mismatched darts and that is five mismatched darts but I think 
he deliberately kept them high. He doesn't want to go anywhere near double five again. So yeah. I think he, the next one again, he will try and not pull it under the t double 20. Yeah, giving himself every possible advantage that he can. He can't afford to go too high too many times. And with his eighth match dart, Danny Knopper gets the better of Martin Schindler. He's maintaining that, which is going to cause the Souza problems, whether he's averaging 75 or 105. This is going to cause everyone problems, believe me, if you can keep this up. This Finally. is better. 140. Last year, that was probably a 180, eight times out of ten. This year, it's more likely to be the 140. Dave, not short on that last dart, and somewhat unfortunate not to get the maximum. That's a spectacular dart. You know how difficult it is to throw that one between the other two. <laughs> It's easier to get a 180, 94. but Dave doesn't choose the easy way. No, nope. he wants it hard. This guy can do anything with a dart, and I mean anything. Can he find a 122? He's on his way to the double seven. Oh, Chizzy! Looked at the head to head only once. I couldn't believe it in the Grand Slam. You expect these two to have played each other many times because of the European tours and the players' championships and all of the majors that they have featured in. To have only run into each other once is very strange. Yeah, you four tournaments. I mean, no, only once. Last 16 Grand Slam of Darts 2020. And that is the tournament this man won. So you can guess who won that match. Indeed. That also leads me to talk about what De Souza has coming up in his rankings. Not only a European Tour win in cash to defend, but the Grand Slam a month later. Double eight. And that's a very fine leg from De Souza. He's gone from famine to feast. Hitting doubles, one out of two. You'll take that when you're getting multiple shots at a double in the legs and that is Chisnell's second maximum of this match they've had two each now but it's Chisnell getting closer to the winning post 57 he's already taken the darts away from the Portuguese ace what's he up to oh, he's more likely to hit a nine dart than anybody we haven't hit one in a while on the European tour. When Dave got the fourth dart there, I was hoping. Maybe we'll get one tonight in front of 1,900 Dutch fans. Oh, <laughs> it'd be something else. It would be so typical if Charlie Kostafin, our referee in this match, gets one in his first tournament. Oh, he's had two on here, he's in this leg. Based on what we've seen already, Dave is definitely going two for tops here to finish off the afternoon. And another C will fall. 42. If he gets it. Tops for the win. Game. What a great display from Dave Chisnell. Chisnell.